Take a boo, bitch ass motherfucker. You doing ling ling back again? Let's do some nails. Hey, we have a returning client, one of my only Asian clients, because Asian people don't really get the nails done. Last time she comes, she get the full bling cluster finger. So today she want to do red. She says she's going to a wedding. So I said, okay, let's do some red. I have the secret to tell you, I do not know how to paint gel polish. I am really bad at it because I've been doing color acrylic for years. I'm just so used and accustomed to doing color acrylic that ah, I don't know how to paint. I love encapsulating stuff, so we're going to put a little bit of dry flower and a little gold foil up in here to make it really beautiful. Honestly, I don't really think my nails is long because I'm so used to wearing it. But when now seeing the fucking video and seeing my nails next to her nails, what the fuck? My nails look crazy. I do look like scary animal. Edward Scissorhand. Okay, when you're using color acrylic, treat it like a thin nail polish. Put a very thin layer on there, okay? And then after that, you're going to take some clear and then you're going to encapsulate it. So you're going to cover up the whole finger with clear. So that's why you don't need to do the fucking color acrylic really thick. A little bit go a long way, baby. Some of you wondering, when I do nail, does it mess up my nails? Yes, it messed up my nail. I'll be getting acrylic on my fucking nail. Um, and then, like, when I file my nail, my right thumb, like, it lose some fucking nail from the filing. I don't know if you're wondering, but um, I do have free nail classes. I did four free nail classes on YouTube. And after four classes, I just didn't know what else to teach you guys. That's all I have. That's all you get. Anyways, a lot of time people ask me, Oh, what makes you so passionate about nail? How did you become so passionate about nail? I'm not passionate. More passion, more passion, more energy, more energy. It was never passion for me. It was a hustle. You know, go to school, you go do nail, go make money. So that's what happened. I know go to school, I go do nail. And from there, it was to infinity and beyond. Every single nail tech has a specialty, what they're good at. Some people are good at laying acrylic. Some people are very good at shaping. Some people are good at hand design. Some people are good at bling bling. For me, I want to say speed. I finished this set in about one hour from beginning to finish. That's including the stone. The nail drill that I use is from Zule Nail Shop. So you make sure you go check out my girl. A lot of you guys want to ask, how do I pick up on my speed? How can I be faster? Um, you have to work in a shop. If you're at home nail tech and you're doing appointment by yourself and you're not in a shop and nobody's yelling at you to hurry up, hurry up, customer coming. Hurry, hurry, hurry. One more full set, one more full set. Fuel in, fuel in. If you don't work in a shop and nobody is yelling at you, you're really not going to pick up speed. I work in fucking nail salon my whole life and like anybody yelling, trying to hurry up, get to the money. So that's how I was able to speed up. When I was in Atlanta and I had the nail salon, um, I also had a lot of girls and they weren't really fast. They took a really long time. So I used to make the girls race with me. So what you can do is set up a timer and time yourself. Give you a certain amount of minutes to finish something. Like 5 minutes to put on all the tip. 10 minutes to lay this acrylic and 15 for this and 15 for that. And then you'll, you know, be able to time yourself. For the top coat and gel machine, I got not polished. You can go purchase from her store also. But for the glue, the glue, to I'm so tired. I got tongue tied. For the glue that I put used to put on the bling. I used the bling glue from Zule Nail Shop. The best glue in the world. If you haven't tried her glue, make sure you go check it out. So for the bling nail, I don't have to put a top coat on the bottom. As far as cluster, whatever diamond color I'm going to use, i use the base as that color. And what's amazing about Zule uh, glue is that after you finish, you don't put top coat. Never put top coat. It's going to make it so ugly. And putting these diamonds on, these diamonds are also from Zule Nail Shop. Putting these diamonds on is like playing Tetris. It's like a puzzle. You just have to fucking, you know, pick out some pieces and find where the hell you can put it. Put one here, long one there. There's no right or wrong way to place diamond as long as it look beautiful. If it's beautiful, then you're good to go. Use your eye, okay? Your eye is very important. If you cannot see that it's not ugly or ugly or not, then you're doing something wrong. Anyways, this is a finished product. Wow, beautiful, honey. She's going to go to the Vietnamese wedding party. And they're going to be like, who did your nail? She'll be like, lovely me do for me. And, you know, they're going to critique it. So, fuck it. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.